Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Candy Corner. Today we're going to do freeze-dried candy. That's right, freeze-dried candy. Now, I was kind of expecting it to be like astronaut food, you know, light and, and kind of crumbly. It doesn't seem like that, just kind of touching the packages. Now, these were a gift from Matt Zion over at Reckless Eating. I think he had done it on his channel and then he had some left over and so he graciously uh, donated them to us. They seem to come from different sources. I'm not sure if he bought them all in one place, but they seem to come from different sources and we have five today. So the first one is from Heavenly Delights. Uh, don't see anything of where Heavenly Delights is from. This was apparently from Etsy. And these are freeze-dried airheads uh, mix. That should be interesting. The second one we have is freeze-dried starburst. Uh, there's ingredients in here, but I don't know if that makes a difference. The process is how, what's important here, and the fact that it's freeze-dried. And, and again, also from Heavenly Delights off Etsy. Third one we have is from Redwood Sweet Treats, freeze-dried goodies and more, and this is candy corn. So I'm thinking freeze-dried candy corn, it can't taste any worse than regular candy corn. Uh, it does say it contains egg, and I don't know if candy corn typically does contain egg or not, and this is made in a home kitchen in Scotts Valley, California. Our next two uh, don't, don't have any names right. on it, and I imagine they came from Etsy, but I'm not sure who made these, or I don't, I don't really see any kind of label on them. Uh, the first one is a Chewy Sweet Tarts Sample. And the second one is a Tootsie Roll Sample. And all of these are freeze-dried. So we're just going to uh, go through them in this order. Should be fine. So we'll start with these. Which are the airheads. Oh, that's a big piece of candy. When the saliva hits it, it disintegrates. And it takes a couple of seconds for that to happen. I don't know. Kind of the flavor is there, but the texture is so weird and so different. You know, it goes from something kind of crunchy and chewy to a liquid. Now, I guess the flavor is still there. So if you like airheads, you like this. It's a little bit of an odd thing, though. I think I'm going to give that a thumbs up. All right, uh, now our next one, our Starbursts. Again, I know Starburst is kind of you know, rubbery, chewy, soft, squishy. That's gone. I don't know if they break it down somehow and then reform it to freeze dry it, or they just take a Starburst and freeze dry it. I don't think it's the case because the Airhead seemed like there was a bunch of them put together. It was that big square. Now, Starburst is an unmistakable flavor. But these, the flavor changes a little bit. And as it breaks down, this, especially this one, it's like a pumice stone. It's kind of hard and gritty. Like lava rock. It takes a while for this to break down. But I want to say uh, the Starburst flavor is kind of missing here. It's there, slightly. 
but you don't get that effect of eating a juicy starburst. You don't get that, a kind of flavor burst, even after it turns to liquid. I don't know. I mean, I like Starburst. And it does have spots where the flavor comes in. The Starburst flavor comes in. But it's inconsistent. I'm just going to get a thumbs in the middle. It's interesting. It's fun, but still. Yeah. Let's try the candy corn. I'm really interested in this one. Has a smell of candy corn. So right off the bat, they didn't have that kind of waxiness, you know, like the sensation that you're eating a candle that typically you get from eating candy corn. Candy corn flavor is there. I don't like candy corn, but somehow in this form, it's easier to take. Hmm. Yeah, it's a completely different way of eating candy corn. Like I said, there's a flavor there, but you don't get that kind of a, that the, I think that whack experience of eating that waxiness that when you're eating a candle, one of the things I don't like about candy corn, and that's not hair. And it's basically, you know, sugary. Not enough that I can pinpoint a particular flavor. It definitely tastes like candy corn. What's the only thing I'm gonna give it a thumbs up? An interesting way to eat candy corn. Now the thing is, I suppose you could chew this. They're very hard. And I get the impression that if you did chew these, they would get stuck in your teeth. So I'm kind of letting the saliva break it down to take a little bit longer. I was gonna do them in order. I think I'm gonna do the Tootsie Roll next, only because it's sweet tart. You know, if the flavor is more a little bit more intense, it's gonna kind of take away from the flavor of the Tootsie Roll. So, we'll do the Tootsie Roll next. I'm still eating this. I guess that's one of the drawbacks. It takes you a lot longer to eat one of the pieces of this than typically any of these candies. We're getting there though. Yeah, I thought it would work. Okay, let's do the twisty roll then. Again, they're all really hard and chewy. To me, freeze-dried kind of the freeze-dried ice cream is really light and airy and when you put it in your mouth it just dissolves the the saliva dissolves it this one takes a lot longer maybe because it has a higher sugar content um maybe like with ice cream has a lot of liquid high liquid content so that when you're freeze-drying ice cream you're taking all the liquid out of it and this one you're just taking the liquid out of it there's not as much liquid to begin with, and so you come up with something a lot harder. It doesn't break down as easy. Now, part of the fun of a Tootsie Roll is the chewiness. I love the chewiness of a Tootsie Roll. I'm gonna chew it for a while. It's one of those chewy candies that doesn't get stuck in your teeth. It's still fun to chew. This takes that fun out of it. Flavor is still there, but it doesn't have the chocolatiness, is that, if that's a real word. It doesn't have the chocolatiness of a real Tootsie Roll. 
I mean, of a, I'm sorry, of a not freeze dried Tootsie Roll. It almost, it almost um, creates something where the, the sugar, the sugar in that kind of crystallizes. I don't know. I don't think I enjoy that one as much as a regular Tootsie Roll. Again, that chocolate flavor in a Tootsie Roll is a little bit more dissipated in that. And it's just not fun to eat that. So I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a thumbs, I'm gonna give that a thumbs down, I think. It, it just doesn't match, like, you know, if it had that Tootsie Roll flavor, that, you know, that big Tootsie Roll flavor was a little bit easier to eat, I think. I think it would be more fun, but I'm gonna have to give that one a thumbs down. And then, Lastly, let's do our sweet tart. That one's like really, really sugary. That one breaks down real easy. Flavors there. It is tart. It is sweet. But it changes the sweet tart ex experience. But I like it. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. So, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I would say for me... Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to rate this higher, the candy corn. I'm going to rate it higher than I typically would because it, it makes eating the candy corn a better experience than eating candy corn. Um, I kind of think, I think I kind of like the sweet tart the best. I think the sweet tart's the best. And my least favorite is the Tootsie Roll. You know, not flavor-wise, it's just that it doesn't really have a, uh, that great a flavor, uh, that strong a flavor of Tootsie Roll. So for me, it kind of loses something there. So... Um, again, I saw that some of these are from Etsy. I don't know if they are all from Etsy. So what you might want to do is you might want to um, go over to Reckless Eating and maybe ping uh, Matt during one of his live streams and say, hey, where did you get those candies? I suppose I could do that too and save the work for you. But, um, but give these a try to get a chance. It's kind of a fun thing to do. But remember, be careful because it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Please take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.